What if I told you the blueprint for a nearly indestructible black box is hidden inside a woodpecker's head? Or that the key to stopping billion-dollar counterfeit rings is fluttering on a butterfly's wing? It sounds like something out of a movie, but it's happening right now. For centuries, we've looked to the stars for big answers. But it turns out, some of our greatest breakthroughs didn't come from looking up, but from looking at the incredible world right here around us. We've been quietly reverse engineering the animal kingdom to solve some of our biggest challenges. From the deep ocean to the scorching desert, animals have spent millions of years perfecting the art of survival, and their solutions are more brilliant than anything we could cook up in a lab. Today, we're pulling back the curtain on the amazing technologies we stole from animals, designs that are saving lives, transforming industries, and changing our world. Before we dive in, if you love discovering the secrets of the natural world, do us a favor and hit that like and subscribe button for more content just like this. Let's start with an animal whose whole deal is headbutting trees, the woodpecker. This bird can slam its beak into solid wood up to 22 times a second, taking on a force of over 1,200 Gs with every single strike. For perspective, a fighter pilot can pass out at just 10 Gs. So how does this bird not turn its own brain into mush? The secret is a marvel of natural engineering. The woodpecker's skull is built from a spongy mesh-like bone that acts as a natural cushion. It has a bizarre tongue bone the hyoid that actually wraps around the entire skull, working like a seatbelt for its brain. On top of that, its beak is both hard and elastic, absorbing the initial impact. The whole system is one of the most brilliant shock absorbers on the planet. Now, think about a critical piece of human tech, the airplane black box. It's the one thing that can tell investigators what went wrong in a crash, but it has to survive unimaginable forces to be useful. So, what did engineers do? They copied the woodpecker. Researchers built a new shock-absorbing system that mimics the bird's head. They used a hard steel case like the beak, a rubber layer to copy the hyoid bone's vibration damping, and then packed the sensitive electronics inside a container filled with tiny glass beads to act like that spongy skull. The results of their tests were astounding. A standard black box is tough, built to withstand an impact of 3,400 Gs. But the woodpecker-inspired version protected its electronics from impacts of up to 60,000 Gs. That's an incredible leap forward, all thanks to a bird that figured out how to safely bang its head against a tree. Next, let's look at an insect that's as delicate as it is brilliant, the Morpho butterfly. These butterflies are famous for their stunning, iridescent blue wings. But here's the wild part. Their wings have zero blue pigment. The color isn't a chemical. It's structural. The surface of a Morpho's wing is covered in microscopic scales that have these incredibly complex, tree-like nanostructures. These tiny structures are shaped perfectly to bend and reflect light, which cancels out every color except for that shimmering, brilliant blue. It's nature's own optical engineering, and it's practically impossible to fake without the original biological blueprint. This got some people thinking about a huge human problem, counterfeiting. Every year, billions are lost to fake goods, from currency to life-saving medicines. Creating security features like holograms is a constant arms race against forgers who get better and better at copying them. We needed something that was almost impossible to fake. That's where a Canadian company, inspired by the Morpho Butterfly, stepped in. They developed a technology that creates nano-hole arrays, billions of tiny holes smaller than a wavelength of light. These arrays mimic the butterfly's light-bending structures to create a shimmering, color-shifting image that's virtually unforgeable. You can now find this technology protecting everything from banknotes to official documents. It turns out the secret to protecting our most valuable items was just fluttering around in the rainforest. From the rainforest to the ocean. We think of sharks as perfect hunters, but one of their most amazing features has nothing to do with their teeth. It's their skin. If you could touch a shark, you'd feel that it isn't smooth at all. 
It's rough, like sandpaper. That's because it's covered in millions of microscopic tooth-like scales called dermal denticles. This unique texture does more than help the shark swim fast. It keeps it perfectly clean. Almost any surface left in the water, from ship hulls to medical implants, suffers from something called biofouling. That's the buildup of stuff like bacteria and algae. On a ship, it creates drag and burns way more fuel. In a hospital, it can be fatal. Bacteria form slimy colonies called biofilms on surfaces, leading to dangerous infections. But bacteria just can't stand shark skin. The specific pattern of the dermal denticles creates a surface they can't cling to. It's so unwelcoming, they can't settle down and start building colonies. Inspired by this, a company called Sharklet Technologies created a material that copies this pattern exactly. The Sharklet material uses no chemicals, no antibiotics. It's just the shape of the surface that keeps bacteria away and it works. When they tested it in hospitals on things like bed rails and door handles, the sharklet pattern had 94% less MRSA bacteria than a smooth surface. This tech isn't just for hospitals, it's also being used to coat ship hulls to save fuel. A brilliant, chemical-free solution to a massive problem stolen from one of the ocean's oldest predators. Could you climb a sheer wall of glass with nothing but your bare hands? Of course not but a gecko can. For centuries, nobody could figure out how geckos stick to almost any surface. The secret isn't suction cups or some kind of natural glue. It's pure physics, happening on a microscopic level. A gecko's feet are covered in millions of tiny hair-like bristles called setae. Each of those bristles then splits into hundreds of even smaller tips. This incredible structure gives the gecko's foot a massive surface area allowing it to tap into a weak physical force called van der Waals forces. One of these connections is absurdly weak, but when you multiply it by the billions of contact points on a gecko's foot, it's enough to hold the gecko's entire body weight, letting it defy gravity. You know, we humans have always struggled to make things stick. Glues can be messy and, well, they're often permanent. Tapes get old and lose their grip over time. What we really needed was a powerful, clean, and reusable adhesive. So once again, we look to nature for inspiration. Scientists have now made synthetic gecko-inspired adhesives, creating materials with these microsurfaces that actually mimic the gecko's feet. These gecko grippers can hold heavy objects, work on all sorts of surfaces, and can be detached and reused thousands of times without leaving any residue or losing their stickiness. The potential applications are honestly mind-boggling, from wall-climbing search and rescue robots to new kinds of medical bandages that can stick to delicate, wet tissue during surgery without causing any damage at all. It's a huge leap in adhesion, proving that sometimes the most powerful solutions are also, surprisingly, the most gentle. So we've got woodpeckers inspiring better black boxes, butterflies, stopping counterfeiters, sharks fighting superbugs, and geckos defying gravity. If you're finding this as amazing as I am, do me a quick favor and hit that like button. And hey, drop a comment below letting me know which one of these animal technologies has blown your mind the most. All right, let's get back to it, because nature's idea book is far from finished. How can you keep a huge building cool in the middle of Africa without spending a dime on air conditioning? Simple, you ask a termite. Termites in Zimbabwe build these gigantic mounds that can tower over the landscape. Outside, temperatures can swing wildly from scorching hot during the day to chilly at night. But inside the mound, where the termites farm their food, the temperature stays almost perfectly constant. They pull this off with an ingenious passive ventilation system. The mounds are built with a complex network of vents and tunnels. Hot air from the termites and their fungus gardens rises and flows out of chimneys at the top. This pulls cool air in through vents at the base of the mound. The mud itself also has a high thermal mass, meaning it absorbs heat during the day and slowly releases it at night. Now think about our glass and steel skyscrapers. They're basically giant greenhouses that need enormous, power-hungry AC systems to keep them from cooking us. 
Architect Mick Pierce faced this exact problem when designing a large building in Harare, Zimbabwe. His solution? He copied the termites. The result is the Eastgate Center, which opened in 1996. It has no conventional air conditioning at all. Instead, the building breathes. At night, fans pull cool air inside, and the building's concrete structure absorbs the chill. During the day, as things heat up, hot air rises and is vented out through chimneys, just like in the termite mound, which pulls the stored cool air through the offices. This passive cooling system uses less than 10% of the energy of a similar-sized conventional building, saving millions of dollars and drastically cutting its carbon footprint. It's a landmark of sustainable architecture, and we owe the idea to a tiny insect. For our last example, we turn to the master of the night sky, the bat. Bats can navigate and hunt in total darkness with breathtaking precision. They don't use their eyes, they use sound. It's an ability called echolocation. A bat sends out a high-frequency sound pulse and then listens for the echo that bounces back. Its brain instantly analyzes the timing and direction of those returning echoes to build a detailed three-dimensional map of its surroundings. It's so precise it can dodge a branch and pinpoint a tiny moth in midair, all in the dark. For humans, getting around without sight is a huge challenge. The traditional white cane is a vital tool, but it can only detect obstacles on the ground right in front of the user. It can't warn a visually impaired person about things like an overhanging tree branch, a low-hanging sign, or other dangers at chest or head level. Inspired by the bat's incredible navigation system, engineers created ultrasonic canes. Devices like the WeWalk Smart Cane have an ultrasonic sensor built right into the handle. Just like a bat, the cane sends out ultrasonic pulses and detects the echoes from objects in the user's path. When it senses an obstacle, especially one that's off the ground, it warns the user with a gentle vibration in the handle. Some versions even link up with smartphone apps to provide GPS directions and information about nearby places. This technology doesn't just copy what a bat does, it translates that sense for us offering a new level of freedom and safety to visually impaired people all over the world. It's a perfect example of how studying an animal's senses can help us profoundly enhance our own. Woodpecker skulls, butterfly wings, shark skin, gecko feet, termite mounds, and bat sonar. These are just a few pages torn from nature's playbook. For millions of years, the natural world has been the ultimate research and development lab running countless experiments to find the most efficient, resilient, and brilliant solutions imaginable. The field of biomimicry is proving that the world's most advanced technologies aren't always made of silicon and steel. Sometimes they're made of bone, scales, and hair. As we face bigger and more complex challenges as a species, maybe the best place to look for answers isn't some futuristic laboratory, but in a forest, in the ocean, or in the sky above us. The blueprints are everywhere, just waiting for us to notice. If this dive into nature's secret tech vault blew your mind, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next adventure. And check out this other video on your screen right now for more incredible science stories. Thanks for watching.